Lord, you are for me. He made the way. The Lord has made the way for you. You made the way. You made the way. He made the way for you. You made the way. You made the way. That's a new song in your spirit and your heart. Say, say, ah. You made the way. I don't know where you would have been, Lord. If it wasn't your quest, uh, you made the way. Everybody in the way God brought you from. But He made the way. You made the way. Hallelujah. 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 Just laugh at the enemy. Because you're getting in the holy of holies. You're getting in the holy of holies. Hallelujah. I don't know how but you did it. You made the way. I don't know how, but you did it. You made the way. I don't know how, but you did it. Ramoshete reke yama. I don't know how, but in America. How, but you did it. Come on, so you made the way. I don't know whether I would be for the five today, but I made it. He made it. You're still alive. Don't know how, but the Lord did it. You made a way. Say, don't know how, but you did it. You made a way. I don't know how, but you did it. You made a way. I don't know how. You made a way.
way, Jesus. I don't know how. You, hallelujah, you made you a way, God. Made a you made way. a way, Jesus. He made a way. He made a way for you and me. We don't know how we did it. We don't know how we did it, but he made a way. Yes, he did. Yes, Jesus, you made a way, God. Yes, he has. Lord, we thank you for making a way. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for making a way, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you that we're here, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I personally, I thank you that I can stand right here and say, Jesus, you made a way. Lord, you made a way. Oh, Jesus, you made a way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, God. I love you, Jesus. Lord, your people love you, God. They love you because you've set your your love upon me. I'll deliver you from all. I'll deliver you from all, says the Lord. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your presence, God. Oh. We thank you for your manifestation thank right here, God. Lord, we come on, son. We come on, everybody. We come on, everybody. We come on. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for making that way, Lord. I mean, it's the fire, Lord, you made a way. I mean, it's the fire, Lord, you made a way. When they loved, you made a way, oh God. Lord, I can stand here and say, Jesus, you made a way. You made a way for my children, Lord. You made a way for my mom. You made, you made a way, oh God. You made a way for my family, oh Jesus. That I can stand here and I say, Jesus, you leave. Jesus, you leave. Hallelujah. He leaves. He leaves, Jesus. He leaves. He leaves. He leaves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, choir. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Are you glad to be in the presence of the Lord? Hallelujah. All right, all right. I want to welcome you here in the presence of the Lord. I believe He's here. <laughs> all right, so I believe the Lord, um, the presence of the Lord is here. So when Pastor told me that I was going to coordinate the um, this service today, I was like, okay. Okay, okay, because I've been passing through fire. So when Pastor sang that song, um, he made a way. He truly made a way for me. For my family. Yes, yes, he made a way for me. I believe I usually share um, in Tuesday, um, Tuesday service. I'm very, very shy. But I thank the Lord that he has, he has made a way that I'm standing here in front of you. And um, coordinating this service. But I, um, I, as I told you that I was, I've been passing through a, midis, um, a lot of fire, a lot of um, thorns. And um, last, last Sunday or two Sundays ago, I gave a testimony that um, we had a, um, a, a pre-wedding party. We celebrated my brother. Um, a midis of, you know, I have a, a, a scripture to share it with you. When the fire came, I was, I was reading um, every, every, every day I wake up at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and I, and I pray to the Lord. I'm very, very blessed that in my house, I have a prayer room in my house. So in a house of Muslims, because my husband is born a Muslim. I have people that are Muslim in my house. But in my house, where the head of the family is a Muslim, I say, I have a room that I can praise my Jesus. So amid this, um, you know, when the storm came, um, Monday, uh, last Monday, or my, not last Monday, the other Monday, um, I was in my room at 3 a.m. praying to the Lord. I was reading a scripture um, from Exodus chapter 15. And um, it starts from 22. I'm going to read it out because I don't want to take a lot of time. But it says, um, bitter, the heading of that, of that um, scripture is 15, it's in Exodus 15, 22. It, the heading says, bitter waters made sweet. So... Um, 
it starts, it actually, I will start from 20 where Miriam was celebrating. Because uh, I started out celebrating two Sundays ago, celebrating my brother, how we got a wife, and all of a sudden, boom, a, sto uh, a storm came up. So I'm going to read for you. It says, Then Miriam the prophetess, um, the sister to Aaron, took a, a timbre or timbre in her, in her hand. And all the women went out, uh, out after her with, with um, trembles, or trembles, um, yes, and, and with dances. And Miriam answered them, Sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its riders he has thrown into the sea. That's, that's exactly that's, that I was on last Sunday or two Sundays ago. I was singing to the Lord. I was celebrating that, you know, we've, we've, we've passed, you know, my brother is going to get married. I was celebrating that we have a wife. We have a new person, a part of our family. In 20, um, chapter 22, it says, So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea. Then they went out into the wilderness of Shur, and they went, and and they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. Twenty-three. Now, when they came to Marah, they could not drink the waters to, of Marah, for they were bitter. Therefore, the name the name of it was called Marah. Twenty-four. And the people complained again as Moses saying what shall we drink so he called out to the Lord and the Lord showed him a tree when when he cast it into the waters the waters were made sweet there um, there are he made a statue and an ordinance for the, for them and and there he tested them the Lord tested them um, and said if you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do right do what is right in his sight. Give ear to his commandments and keep all this, his statutes. I will put none of these diseases on you, which I have put on the Egyptians. For, for I am the Lord who heals and so forth. If You know, you can go back and read it yourself. But I was, you know, after celebrating with my family, a storm hit. It hit really bad. But I thank God that he had already established me. In his, you know, I was on the rock. So at 3 a.m., my sister calls me, Carol, pray for Derek. 3 a.m., I was, I was in this scripture reading. So when, he, when I call my sister, I say, what's going on? It's like, Derek, you know, something has happened to Derek. There is no more wedding. I, I just started. I, I, so this is the scripture I prayed through. I said, he is, the Lord that I serve is going to change the bitter waters into what? Into sweet waters. My sister did not, it did not happen. He did not change it worst who came to us so things happened and then you know of course we went to court da 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 and then so i'm getting used to the the news that there is no wedding my beautiful daughter we in the hospital so things kept coming 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 my way but i want to tell you that he's a god that heals he's a god that heals that when you stand when he makes a way he truly makes a way he says that he backs away that tribulations will come they will come but he will deliver us from all of them and that's 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 you know if you trust in him if you trust in him so i want to encourage somebody everybody here that he she is healed she is healed she's there sitting there okay my, my brother, it is what it is, but he makes a way. We believe that it, he's going to make a way. Amina. All right, all right. So that's my little, I wanted to encourage somebody because I was, I, was I was under through much stress and um, God encouraged me through those scriptures. Amen. So I want to welcome you again to church and I want to welcome our visitors, our visitors online. Welcome, welcome. Highest praise loves you, loves you so much. Amen, amen. Um, it's my first time, so I'll go down. So I want to make some announcements. Um, church services, of course, every, every Sunday, 10.30 to 1 o'clock. And then um, Tuesdays and Fridays, we always have service. On Tuesdays, we moved it to 6.30 because of the children. They have to go to, ch to school. So we moved it at 6.30. But when you come at 7 o'clock, we welcome you as well. I would encourage you to come to church and, and, and you know, pray with us because we need this. 
And then one more, um, and every Friday, the last Friday of every month, we have an overnight. We always have an overnight. We're here interceding, interceding for the country, for our children, for ourselves as ministers of the Lord. Um, and then we have a prophetic night of worship. That's the 29th of December. The 29th of December. I welcome each and everybody to bring, you know, bring your friends, bring your neighbors, especially the people that, you know, call this place um, home, call highest praise home. Bring your friends, bring your neighbors, your family, bring them. They'll, you know, they'll not stay the same. Amen? Amen. We should. All right. One last more one. <laughs> Sorry. So on Sunday, Christmas, no, it will be the, it will be Wednesday, right? So Wednesday, um, 25th December, we have a service here. So please come, you know, we'll have something we'll share together, the word of God, and we'll share some, you know, yum, yum, some food. Okay. And bring some gifts for your, you know. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So um, I think this is the time um, to um, get ready for testimonies. Anybody with a testimony? Yes, yes. I just gave mine, so it was a, it was a long one. Praise God. Praise Jesus. I'm so excited today because today I made 12 years in marriage. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to thank the Lord so much for he has kept me in great shape. Amen. I have three children. My first born is 11 years old. My second born is eight. My third born is five. I want to thank the Lord so much for my family. God gave me family. And I want to thank the Lord so much for my husband. I still feel the same way as we first began. And I want to thank the Lord so much. The, the hard situations bring us more closer. I've learned so much through the tough situations. Amen. We built our relationship on trust, our, our communication and respect. And this has taken us through. Amen. So I want to thank the Lord so much. Um, I believe in uh, marriage and family. And I want to thank the Lord so much for he has preserved my family. Amen. 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 We thank God for marriages. We are brides to Jesus. So we thank God for marriages. Mukama Evas Renyo. Nagi never Zamukama last week. Mukama family of Yatua Mwimbaka. Yatua Saba Chamuchara Munyanko. Saturday Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. How many believe God loves you? You believe that he loves you? He loves me too. Hmm. Yesterday was 7th of December and the devil had a heart attack. Praise the Lord. Because I made it, it was my birthday. You know, in 2007, the devil once sentenced me to death. Amen. But Jesus said no. Amen. Jesus said no. When, uh, when, when the devil said it is over, Jesus said not yet. Amen. So uh, I make a big... Um, show of my birthday because of that whenever i i hit my birthday it is a great um a great uh, i'm thankful it's a great day for me there's a song i wrote in 2014 and it is in luganda i just want to minister in that song so i pray that uh my brother morris is ready <laughs>
To uh, God makes a way. Uh, last night I was praying and I was following the crusade back home online. So the pastor said we need to uh, get off our, our beds and sleep on the floor. So I find I just find out that salvation is not a joke. That's why the Bible say we have to deny ourselves. So um, this morning, I was so down, down, down. Ask me why? Because I was late at church. There's no portion that we need, we're supposed to miss from morning until the church is done. So I reach out to uh, ma, 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 Mama Madrega. <laughs> she didn't reply. So I called Blanche because I, w- I wanted to let them know that I'm not coming. And I, I felt like I, was, I wanted to cry because I was late. Um, I don't know why, but if I can make it to my job on time, why should I be late at church? 
So I said, I'm going to stay home. And I don't know. I, I, it wasn't my fault, but I felt like this is not right. So I, when I caught Blanche, Blanche was like, oh, I'm putting on my shoes. I'm going to church. And then I said, oh, okay. So when you get there, call me. I'm going to meet you downstairs, and then I'm going to go back home. But God makes a way. And Blanche told me, oh, you do, do quick and come. <laughs> so I did as she said, and I make it a church because the devil is a liar. When David said they told me to go to church, uh, I was glad. I was happy. I re was rejoicing when they told me to go in the house of the Lord. It's, it's not coming to church. It's just coming here on the holy ground so i'm glad i made it i'm glad i'm here so the portion that god wanted me to have i'm going to have it but next time uh whatever made me be late i'm not gonna do it i told blanche i'm done with this <laughs> so <laughs> but, <laughs> so next time please take me off <laughs> We, we had, we'll take you all. I thank God that my grandfather reached Uganda safely. Amen, amen. I thank God that the Lord added another year to my life on Chile. We're going, we, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have to sing happy birthday to the two babies. Baby Jerusha, come on. And baby jo jo Josiah, Josiah. Yes. All right, all right, all right. Yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jerusha and Josiah. Happy birthday to you. Ask. All right. Oh, okay. We have another testimony. Oh. Praise God, Church. Praise God, Church. It's not easy. It's not easy. Um, I'm just trying to get energy to stand here. Because it's not easy. Um, just like you've been saying, it's a battle. Um, it's a battle we are in. The battle is not easy. Um, the closer you are to God, the stronger the attacks. And it takes a person with mature in faith and the spirit to know when he is under attack. Um, I've been going through a very hard maybe I don't know whether I lost tracks like a month or something since pastor stopped talking to me. <laughs> no. Okay. Anyway, we usually have our, our, our long-time session sometimes on phone. But um, things went bad at work. Really, really, really tough. But um, sometimes you see people out here smiling, out, but you don't know what they're, the battles that they're going through, especially the people of God. The devil, when he comes, he comes really strong and he hits really bad. But... Um, I want to encourage some, somebody here. Whenever you are in a situation, you should always know, you should always have a backup plan, you know. You don't look at human beings. Never look at human beings. Never. Never, ever. The, our only power comes from above. So, um, what I, one thing I've done, what we've thought that seed at home is that every evening, my family, because I work till very late, my family has a fellowship. So, when I feel I'm weak, I, I, I may not tell them that I'm not praying or I'm down, but I just ask them, did you pray this yesterday? Then that should be a message that I'm not really. Because when I get to work, I pray there. But I had a very, very hard month. 
because I'm in charge of people around the world and there's this office in the UK that uh, I think they had something small in the summer and, and, I, I, and uh, it was, I was in charge but I was so busy with other trainings and stuff, training people and setting up programs and they put all the blame on me. So um, I don't know how you people meet your bosses or how hostile they can be but mine was like a lion for at least three weeks you go to work you know you're, you're, on, you're meeting fire but you have to stay calm run to, the, to your room and whatever comes through me I, I don't listen from this ear to the other because I'm focusing I say God take this battle take all what is saying so the, 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 um, we went through the three weeks and every day you know going to fire At that time we had just employed somebody person came to the office next to mine. Ah, this person asked me, man, you guy, how are you managing this place? Because the man is making so much noise every day. And this man normally is good. But for three weeks, the man was a lion. So, I don't know how, in what language I can tell you about this, the harshness. But pastor and his wife, I think I informed you things are bad, but I had to be strong. So, um, Listen, Carol's testimony is also part of encouragement. You know, when you're in prayer, when you're, when you're in the spirit, we always get those attacks and they're really bad. They're not easy. They are very tough and sometimes we can get derailed and go look for human beings or, 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 or begin blaming God. But these are the tests that we have to go through. God didn't say it would be easy, but he said he'll be with you through the fire. So through the fire, we had to stand still and uh, the climax, I think, on top of when I'd sorted all this stuff for three weeks, on the last day, I wake up in the morning, I always have my email like, on my phone, so it, I check out, I see that email again comes from the UK, another problem. So I jumped up, I told my wife, you know something, I'm going to work without even showering. I'm running, so this problem out. They told me, but it's just a job. So I said, okay, let me go and take a shower. Pray, pray in my shower. So um, I usually go to work singing and maybe sometimes I call people and, and, uh, and preach to them. But this time I said this my day, so I, I went to church just, I went to, 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 to work just praying, telling God, you know what? I thank God for my name, first of all. Daniel. I said, God, just like you did for Daniel with the den of lion, this man is the lion to me. Shut his mouth shut his mouth so I really prayed very earnestly I really I was really in conversation I was deep when I said amen I said God okay now let me let me go and face the fire whatever is coming up the phone rang this like it was before seven I'm driving to work the phone rang the boss himself I said now what he said Daniel are you on your way to work I said yes he said Daniel relax 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 I know you work so hard I know I said some things to you last week. But I, if I blame those people so much. From that day he came to work, he changed, he went to the boss, the CEO, because we are, we are at very high level now. It's just between me and me, him, the CEO. So he goes to the CEO, tells us, you know something? Those people in the UK are making me fight with my people here. So you better take charge of those people. I saw the favor coming back. I saw God's hand in my life. And uh, he come now sit in my office and we chat. As I give all the glory and honor to God. And I thank, I want to thank my family so much for praying with me uh, and doing the fellowships. Really, it really carries a lot of water and weight. Thank you. Amen. We thank God for all those testimonies. Um, as, as Daniel was, um, Brother Daniel was, you know, testifying for the Lord. God just spoke to me because I have my sister Penina, you know Penny, my sister so this, yeah, a few days ago she called me, she's like, eh, man Carol the way you're strong we have another sister in Uganda that I'm called Anna, the way you and Anna are very strong ah, I pray God doesn't bring those things for me <laughs> but God just reminded me something and saying that, he, he, says, he says that I alone know, you know know, is it the future or something I have a, few, a good future for you and stuff 
Exactly. And he knows that he says that I knew you before that before you were formed in your mother's womb. Meaning that he did not consult any of us. He's the, he did not consult me that Carol, can I can I can I make this purpose? You know, can I create you for this purpose? So all these things are going to come, brother Daniel, whatever came, he's going to God is going to show up like he showed up for you for myself for my sister Penny. when it comes when the storm comes god will show up for you as well so i thank jesus so we are uh, going to go through uh, to, um, to another phase of um, offering which is very good and that's a worship when we when we give to, um, our tithes and uh, offerings and and uh seeds and everything we are worshiping the lord he created us to worship him so we are going to welcome the um the choir back and we are going to give and worship the lord Jesus is kind, is patient, amen, and um, we love one another, but there is no one who has ever loved us like Jesus has loved us. So tonight we're going to say, your love is kind. If you're left, you can wave your hand, you can stand up, whatever you feel like. Your love is kind. Your love is patient. You fill my heart with so much peace and joy. You're amazing. You make my life feel brand new. You're amazing. You make my life feel brand new. Your love is kind. Your love is kind. Your love is patient. Your love is patient. Everybody. You feel my heart. You feel my heart. Oh 
to thank you for blessing us, King of Glory. I want to thank you for your promise to bless the works of our hands, O King of Glory. Today we bring back what belongs to you and we want to pray and bring it into your hands, O King of Glory. Receive it, Almighty Jesus, and bless us more. Enlarge our tents, O King of Glory. Those who have not given a King of Glory, open up doors for them, Almighty Father. Provide to them so that they can partake on the blessing, Almighty Father, that comes with the giving. Thank you, Jesus, for everybody, and thank you for the offering. In the name of our Lord Jesus of Christ. Thank you, Daniela. Daniela, thank you, choir. All right, so it's um, we're going through another phase. Um, so we're going to welcome, um, stand up and welcome our pastor, Pastor Tunde um, Steven. All right. Praise in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a praise in Jesus' name. I said, Give the Lord a praise. Can somebody call me Martha to be on the drums? Continue giving the Lord a praise in Jesus' name. Continue giving the Lord a praise. Because in the presence of God is that fullness of healing. There is a fullness of deliverance that in the presence of God there is joy and peace. Continue appreciating God for what he has done for you. Continue appreciating the most high God. Continue appreciating the most high God. We appreciate many things around us. We worship what we have around us. But now is the moment to worship the most high God. It's a time to worship your creator. It's a moment to worship the beginning and the end of and the omega. Continue worshiping the most high God in the name of the living God. I want to hear you worshiping God. I'm telling you, the more you worship God, the closer you get closer to him. Get closer, get closer, get closer, get closer. Get closer, be like a better master, the son of David. Don't pass by me. Be that person today. Be that person this afternoon. Get closer. Get closer. Get closer. Get closer in the name of Jesus. May the Lord shine over your life in the name of the living God. Continue worshiping God. The people of God, you are so... God has given you a life that you can worship Him. He has given you those hands. You can raise them to the sky. Whenever you raise your hands up, the devil flees. Whenever you raise your hands up, the enemy sees the fire. The enemy sees the fire out of your hands. Because there is a God over your life. There is a beginning at the end of the Omega. Raise your hands in the sky. If you want the devil to flee, raise your hands in the sky. Raise your hands in the sanctuary. Raise your hand in the sanctuary. In the name of the living God. Worship God with a new song inside of you. A new song. God has created a new beginning for you. In the name of the living God. I worship you. Lord, I bow down. I worship you. I Worship you. Oh, I worship you. I bow down and worship. 
the salvation of God. Hallelujah. Give the Lord the praise. Those who stand, they will see the salvation of the Lord. And we thank God for what he has done for our brother. But what looked like a curse, God has done it to a blessing. So is everybody in this place this afternoon in Jesus' name. You have not come to meet a man. You have come to meet the most cycle. The beginning and the end of and the omega. The creator of your life. Hallelujah. You may be seated briefly. We give all the praise for the testimonies. wonderful always to be in the house of God. Yes, praise Jesus. Glory be to God. 
Amen. Marriage is wonderful. And it's godly. It's God's institution. Praise God. In the name of the living God. My brother Daniel, I apologize. Our lunch hour was kind of reduced. Hallelujah. May God forgive me. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. We have a visitor today in our midst. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We met at the place of work. Hallelujah. And I saw this woman working so diligently. Amen. Yeah, give the Lord the praise. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says whatever you do, do it for Christ. Amen. Do it for who? For Christ. And if you have been sent to go and work somewhere, where there's nobody seeing you, there is somebody who is watching you, please. <laughs> and despite the angels are ticking, hallelujah, amen. If you do it diligently, the heaven is clapping, praise God. And if you don't fulfill what you're supposed to do, amen, you have, you reap also. Hey, I'm not cursing, but that's how it is because you, you reap what you sow, <laughs> hallelujah, praise God. If you sow a good seed, you reap a good seed, hallelujah, you reap the good fruits out of it, praise God. But this person, we, you know, we talk, you know, uh, you know, there are people who become, when they are in diaspora, when they see their fellow people who come from the same country, they even don't want to say hello in their language. Amen. They say, hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hi, hi. And they even change the accent, but the accent doesn't change so easily. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you, see, you see, you say, can I give, get a bottle of water, you know? And I know, I know where this person comes from. Praise God. Hallelujah. But, you know, I always like to find these people and they say, you know what? Hey, and then they get shocked. And they say, oh, we didn't know that you come from Uganda. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we thought you were from Kenya, Mukuku. Praise God. No, I'm a Ugandan one one. Praise God. Can you take my, uh, my meat down mid, mid range? Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you so much. Give him a hand clap. So, we talk, we talk, then I give them their bit, my business card. Hallelujah. And I didn't know that she was a born again. Amen. And she said, but I'll come and visit you. Hallelujah. Hey, did I know? She used to go to Pastor Baz's church. You know Pastor Baz, who came and Mr. D. Hey, so she's here. Marina, come please and say hello to us. Welcome, our sister. Welcome her, please. Hey. <laughs> Praise the Lord. My name is Madina Nekesa. I'm from Uganda, like Pastor just told you. I feel so honored. I feel I've really connected in the spirit. Amen. I've been here for a month. And I've not stepped in church. This is my first time I'm coming to church. Because <laughs> I've been working on Sundays. So recently I told my boss, I told her that uh, please exclude me on the Sunday shift because I want to be going to church. And I'm glad she accepted. And uh, I met Pastor Stephen at, uh, at our place of work. And uh, for some reason I saw a kind looking gentleman. So I heard him speaking Luganda, and I said, hello. <laughs> and he smiled back and asked me, hey, so we started talking like that. And he gave me his card. I found out that he's a pastor. And I said, I'll come and visit your church. Mommy, I'm very happy to meet you. Amen. And I believe this is going to be my church moving forward. Hallelujah. And she's a minister. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. 
Hallelujah. Amen. We welcome you, Madina. In Jesus' name. She was a Muslim and she got saved. She's a born again. Spirit filled in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. And we have women wing here. The Pastor Jackie Majoyga is there. Hallelujah. She can reach you. You can reach us. You can reach my wife's phone number. You can reach me. You can reach the administrator. There you have stand and you see her. Amen. Praise Jesus. Glory be to the most high God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You will be loved in the highest praise in Jesus' name. You're going to feel the love of Christ in the name of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Isn't that awesome? Hallelujah. So never shy to say hello to your fellow people who come from the same country. Eh? Hey? Hallelujah. You should be proud of that. Most Joseph never heard. You see what happened to Joseph? Amen. He welcomed the whole nation. Hallelujah. And he fed the nation of Israel. He did never he did not deny them. Even though he had what he had gone through. But he had compassion over his fellow people. And they loved them dearly. Praise God. You know God is always ahead of us. Praise God. Out of prison he becomes a prime minister. Hallelujah. So whatever situation comes on your way. There is a God who turns it into a blessing. There is a God who does what? Can you say it louder? Can you say it louder? In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, we have uh, Melissa. You want to come here, Eda Melissa? I appreciate her, please. Melissa has been serving in this church for the last years. Hallelujah. I appreciate God for her life. Amen. She was really young when the first time I saw her. Hallelujah. And she's in school. Are you doing your master's? You're doing bachelor's. Amen. Hallelujah. But God uh, made the way. Praise be to the most high God. Amen. You move mountains. You cause war. By your power, you perform me. There is nothing that is possible. Oh, I stand here only because the way. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, our sister. Behold, somebody had an eye from all the way from Uganda. <laughs> Praise Jesus. And that eye came all the way to see Melissa in Massachusetts. Praise God. Yes. Amen. So she's going back to Uganda to do her wedding. She's going to get married. I appreciate God for that. People of God are not happy about that. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So she's living on she's living on Friday. Hallelujah. But uh, as a committee, we were able to raise some funds for her for the air ticket because it was I mean it was a short notice. Hallelujah. Why it was a short notice, you know. Uh, you can tell us brief. Praise the name of God. I thank God for everyone. Uh, yes, um, what I can say is God made a way for me. And right now I'm going to get married. Uh, what? <laughs> God. <laughs> so, oh my God. <laughs> That's a long story. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but here I am, you know. 
how we are here. All right. Yes. Um, so uh, as I, I, when I went to Uganda last time in December, I went um, with my fiance. I introduced him to my dad, and my dad was so excited about it. And um, so he told us that we have to do something this December. And um, as as time was going on, I, I was um, uh, I told him maybe uh, we should postpone or do something. But he said no. Uh, everything has to happen this December because you guys have uh, so many things to do. I uh, let get let that get out of the way. So um, that's why we're now here, and um, it's gonna happen. And I thank God for that. Um, uh, it's really a long story, Pastor. But uh, what what <laughs> uh, what I can say is, um, well, I in summary, yes. Um, I, when I, we were we were at UC Simukono, you know that church. Um, so we always had in a man conference every year, and um, so he always came in that conference. And uh, so we, we knew each other by that time. But when I came here, we lost contact. But finally, we find each other on Facebook. And they're like, oh, you're lost. I'm like, yeah, I'm not there anymore. I'm overseas right now. And he was like, ah, well, when I, the first time I saw you, uh, I mean, I, it doesn't matter. But right until now, you're still on my heart. Uh, yes. Um, what, I don't want to know whatever happened, what, what you went through, what the story. I don't want to know all that. What I, what, I, what, I, what, I, uh, what I know right now is that you were on my heart and you were my wife. Yes. And uh, so we started from there uh, until today. I introduced him to my parents and my parents are so excited. And you guys, you're about to see him too. <laughs> Yes, very handsome guy. In the Bible I read, there is nothing like a word say handsome. We are all beautiful. Fearfully. So your husband is beautiful in Jesus' name. You don't want to hear that. Praise God. Hallelujah. But we thank God for your life. We thank God for for the gift of salvation and the diligence you have in the name of Jesus. But that's what God can do after a long time. But God still puts you on someone's heart. And behold, God uses a Facebook. Hallelujah. And it was like, hey, this is a person. Praise God. But I pray that everything goes well in Jesus' name and it is shall. So, our sister is leaving. Amen. If you can stand with her, please, she really needs money. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Carol, raise how much did we raise as a committee? 1,800 we raised for her. I appreciate God for that. Hallelujah. Yeah. And please make sure that, you know, by, because she has to buy a ticket so fast. Please bring your pledges and please give it to her. Amen. Uh, but she's still in a deficit of about 3,000, I think. Amen. Hallelujah. Because they, they have to do a lot of things back home. And they're looking at her, the person who is coming from this side. Amen. But there is a God who will make a way in Jesus' name. Let's pray for her as she leaves in the name of the living. Amen. Hey, the pastors, let's come and pray for her. Holy Spirit, thank you for this divine connection. We thank you for the power of, I mean, of provision in the name of the living God. That what you began, nothing can stop it in Jesus' name. What a good thing, Lord. For to see the young people in the church getting married. It's our prayer to see that, Lord, we have wonderful couples in the highest place. People walking in the church here 
husbands and wives of my father with their children because it's a god it's a godly institution lord i pray for the financial provision in the name of the living god i pray that lord you give her wonderful people who work with her i pray for the people who organize oh god who are faithful even if they are given money lord to do something they are faithful lord to do it lord in the name of jesus we bind the spirit of destruction in the name of the living god we bind the spirit of greediness in the name of jesus father this is your plan and nothing shall stop it in the name of the living god i pray for the health may she be healthy with her husband to be let them be healthy in the name of the living god we pray amen and amen I appreciate God. Hallelujah. So you can reach her. Amen. Hallelujah. If you have $10,000, please give it to her. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless us today. Somebody was supposed to come and minister today. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. But God is a good designer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Maybe we'll be here next time. Praise God. Hallelujah. So my wife just talked to him. Uh, it skipped him. He thought maybe it would be next week. No. But... Uh, everything was good for those who believe hallelujah we thank god for the testimonies we've had hallelujah it's amazing somebody to to be convicted that reaching the church late amen it is an act of disobedience hmm? imagine all of us work but when you reach late Actually, it is put on your record. We even punch in before time so that you can get a paycheck. But in the house of God, where you expect the Lord to do wonders for you. Hallelujah. What a powerful liberation. Amen. That is our cry for the whole church. Amen. That the fear of God will descend in this sanctuary in the name of the living God. Because when you say that by 10, 30, by 11, we are here. Hallelujah. The Lord has already descended. The Lord is already there. Glory be to God. It's a liberation. It's a commitment somebody has with God. You know, if I can be on time at work, why can't I be on time in the things of God, in the church, as a minister? People pay money for the babysitters so that you can be on time at work. So that you can have a job. May God have mercy on us the last 20 something years hallelujah I think it was a time when I was sick that's when I reached late at church my wife when she had just got married to me I thank God for her life even though we had a little baby mother but we were always on time at church and yet we had to board a taxi you have to wait it is full you raise your hand, it is full. You raise your hand, it is full. And then one gets out, and then you go on the kameme. Hallelujah. And sometimes I would put Martha on the border border. She would hold me. I had to go on, I had to be in the church on time. And she phoned me the same way even today. Whether I've slept two hours at night on Saturday, I have to be here by 8 o'clock. Why? 
I'm batching in for my reward in heaven. Hallelujah. Praise be to most high God. You are doing what? You are batching in. People of God, God is watching. The decisions we make in our hearts. We say, ah, ah, maybe. Even if I find just the someone you own. You are not finding the someone you own. You've come to meet the most high God. Hallelujah. That when they come together, God shall dwell among them. Where two or three? Simple. He said, I will be there. We thank God for his grace and mercy that endures forever. Hallelujah. So, the women's department, today you have food? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is a send away. It's called a say what? Send away. So people, they really, they want you really to go. <laughs> so where I come from, oh my goodness, actually they make another wedding. Hallelujah. Hey, for the wife you're going to marry. It's a giveaway. Somebody brings another cow. Another one brings a refrigerator. Those who have more money, they always even buy a house for, for that person. Hey, it's a big wedding. You're saying, go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. But let us open our Bible in the name of Jesus. Father, bless this word in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. A testament, Daniel testament really touched me. Praise God. Glory be to the most high God. Let's open the Bible in the book of Exodus. Holy Spirit take over. In Jesus' name. In the book of Exodus 14. Thank you. Praise Him for the wonderful work. Hallelujah. Yeah, I appreciate God for them. People of God, I appreciate, appreciate them. Thank you so much, Gilbert. May the Lord anoint your fingers. To, amen. To play that instrument in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Are we there together? Chapter 14. I will begin from 1. The Lord gave these instructions to Moses. Hallelujah. Who? God. Gave the instructions to who? To Moses. All that the Israelites to turn back and camp by Pihabi, Piha, Pi what? Piha, Piharoth between Megdor, Megdor and Sea. Between Megdor and Sea. That was a mountain. It's, there is a hill, there's a mountain between there and the sea. Camp there alone, along the shores. You know the shores. You people who grew up in the city. But for us who grew up down in Ichoga. Amen. Hallelujah. The shores of the lake. Amen. But this way the shores of the sea. Glory be to God. The, the body of the water is, is too much. The shores across from Balazephon. That then Pharaoh will think. Do you hear that word? Mark it. Then Pharaoh will do what? Will think. The Israelites are confused. Hallelujah. The Lord is assembling the children of Israel. Glory be to God. He's creating the situation. Hallelujah. That the, that the devil might think that, hallelujah, the situation has overtaken you. Glory be to God. Like Jerusha said that, you know, that he, she was given two years to die. Glory be to the most high God. Amen. The situation looked so weird. The young girl, like her, she's going to be dying. Amen. But the Lord, praise God, turned that around. And she's even today celebrating another birthday. Ay, 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 ay. I'm going to talk to the church. Then Pharaoh will think that Israelites are confused. They are trapped in the wilderness. Praise God. And once again, I will harden Pharaoh's heart. God will do what? Will harden Pharaoh's heart. And he will chase after you. 
I will have planned this in order to display my glory. Praise God. That the Lord will have planned this one to display his glory. Through Pharaoh and his whole army. After this, the Egyptians will know. Mark that one. After this, the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. Praise God. So the Israelites camped there as they were told. I want you to repeat it. After this, the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. Praise God. Tell the devil that after this situation that I have been in, the devil will know that God is in my life. Praise be to the most high God. Tell the devil that after the tears I've shed for the last 10 years, today the devil will know that the Lord is in my life. The Lord is in my shelter. The Lord is in my salvation. Pronounce it and confess it. Praise be to the most high God. After this trouble, after this trial, after this mockery, yes. after this gossiping around me, after this tears that I've been crying for days and night, after losing jobs every day, after being chased out of anywhere, I feel that I'm comfortable. The devil will know that the Lord who is on the throne, I am called by his name. And whenever I call upon his name, yeah, 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 yeah. He shall hear from heaven. He shall hear from heaven. Praise be to God. He will not even heal me only, but you even heal the land. Hey! After such a moment, the problem we say, my goodness, this is my problem. Hallelujah. Amen. And you call your grandmother. You start asking these people, you know what? Why did you do wrong, really, in your time? Hey, you, you didn't want to go down, you know, on the route to you know why you're in that situation. Amen. Let the situation stay. Hallelujah. Hey, tell the devil, accumulate the situation around me. Praise be to the most high God. But after one night, And then the Israelites did as the Lord has told them. Let's go on 10. As the Pharaoh approached, hallelujah, as the Pharaoh approached, the people of Israel looked up and they panicked. As, as the Pharaoh approached, the people of Israel looked up and they panicked. When they saw the Egyptians overtaking them. Hallelujah. They did what? They looked up. Remember we started by reading where God told them to gather around the mountain and between the mountain and the sea. On the shores of the sea. Praise be to the most high God. And now Pharaoh is coming with a mighty army. Remember, God has said that Pharaoh will think that these people are confused in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Amen. But God has spoken already. Praise to God. God speaks to us, but we don't hold on what God has spoken to us. Hallelujah. You get a prophecy over your life, but you don't hold it dearly. Amen. He said, but by the way, somebody talked about me. Hallelujah. Somebody said the word over my life. Praise be to God. And that will be maybe the fourth time somebody is prophesying over your life. You will be so and so. You will be so and so. And you take it for granted. Hallelujah. Here, the Lord has spoken. That they will think that you are confused. They will think that they will have you. They will think that you cannot even cross the waters. Hallelujah. Because there is a sea on the other side. There is a mountain on this side. And the Pharaoh, the army are coming. And the Israelites didn't have enough army. They did not have the army Pharaoh had. Pharaoh's nation was a superpower. Like you would see America today. When America sneezes, somebody has to cough. Because 
because of the power they have. That's how Egypt was. But the Lord is saying, they will think that you are confused. Glory be to the most high God. And then enabled Pharaoh to come with his army. They were all jubilating. They were all singing. Hey, we're going to finish these guys. Hallelujah. Because they, they could see there was no escape. Hallelujah. You can be in a situation where you see that you have no escape. You have no way out. Like my sister right now as you go for your wedding. The Lord will make a way for you in the name of Jesus. There is no escape. There are no ships, I mean boats to board with so that they can cross the sea. The sea is in front of them. They were in the shores of the sea. Not just a river. Like Katonga. You come from Uganda. Uh -uh. This is the sea. The body of the water is almost like an ocean. But there is a God who is speaking behind them. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. And 12 he said. Let me go to 11. And they said to Moses. Who? The children of Israel. Hallelujah. Yeah. Why did you bring us out here. To die in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. The Lord has already got them out of Egypt. Praise God. And the situation now has turned around. Praise God. They see there is no hope where they are going. There is no solution. They are only waiting for death. Because these guys, they were really determined to kill them. When God says something over your life, amen, you have to keep on how do you do it? You have to keep on watering it with the prayer. Watering it with the prayer. Reminding God of the prophecies. Reminding God of his prophecies over your life. And his word over your life. Remember, and they said to Moses, Why did you bring us out of here to die in the wilderness? Weren't there enough graves for us in Egypt? Amen? Brother, that is the church today. Praise be to the most high God. God get go to you from somewhere. You know the village you came from. Hallelujah. Amen. I know the villages I came from. Praise God. Hallelujah. One was that on the shores of Lake Shoga. And after school, we would run and then swim in that shores of Shoga. Amen. It was so beautiful. Hallelujah. But the God I was also were there. When God has a good plan over your life. Hallelujah. Because one day, I was taking care of animals. On the shore of that lake, outside there is a big area that is like a lot of sand outside. So, the crocodile had come out to do what? Uh -uh. When they have eggs, how do you call it? To hatch the eggs outside because they don't have eggs inside the water. So they do it outside in the sand where it's warm. So I see a heap of sand. I was 11 years old. Huh, a cowkeeper. So I started playing with it. To open, I remember very well, I saw 30 eggs of a crocodile. 30. And they were huge. Have you ever seen a turkey's egg? so huge these were really I have never eaten one hallelujah <laughs> so I play with them hallelujah I was counting them I counted them well and they were sounding like a glass very hard Let did I know that in the small bush there the mother was looking at me Yes, this is a true story. So I saw this mother looking at me. <laughs> Hallelujah. But God knows our destiny. Hallelujah. Because this animal would have grabbed me. And would, I would have become, it is lunch or it is dinner. 
But God knew that today I'll be preaching in the USA. Amen. Give the Lord the praise. Amen. Hallelujah. So, the shores of the waters. So, on the other side, the lake is so big. You cannot cross it even if you know you're the best swimmer. But let me tell you. Hallelujah. They blamed Moses. Like every, every church people blame the pastor. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Yes. The pastor is there just to guide you. The pastor is there to stand in the gap and pray with you. But you as a child of God, you have an opportunity to reach the Holy of Holies. Praise be to the Most High God. And you have to remember the battle is for the Lord. The victory is yours. They said, you, we had enough graves. But God was so merciful. What have you done to us? Why did you make us leave Egypt? Twelve, didn't we tell you this would happen while we were still in Egypt? We said, leave us alone. Let us be slaves to the Egyptians. It is better to be a slave in Egypt than a corpse in the wilderness. But remember, it's God who has enabled them to get out of Egypt. God has used Moses to throw his stick down and the stick has turned to the snake. They have seen wonders. Praise be to the Most High God. God has called every firstborn Egyptian to die. Amen. They have seen the signs that God, he is there with them. But because the situation has come, hallelujah, and now the murmuring has begun. And God hates that in our lives. Praise be to the Most High God. And I thank God for our brother when he said that my family, they would have a fellowship every evening. And they would be praying. Praise be to the Most High God. That's the way we should be doing our thing. Praise be to the Most High God. That through the tears, through the sorrows, we can still glorify the name of the Lord. We can say that the Lord who brought me in this country, the Lord who enabled me to live out this age, he is more than able to make my destiny prosperous. Because he says, I have a good plan. It's a word of God. Not to harm you, but to make you good. You can find that in Jeremiah 29. The word of God is real. The word of God is God himself. We said, <laughs> we said, we live, leave us alone. Let us be slaves to the Egyptian. It is better to be a slave in Egypt than a corpse in the wilderness. Listen to 13. Hallelujah. Listen to the person who has connected with the God. Hallelujah. Listen to the person who was in the wilderness for 40 years. Hallelujah. Listen to the person who was a shipkeeper for 40 years. Glory be to the most high God. But at the end of the day, he was able to see the burning bush. He was able to be in the Holy of Holies. Glory be to God. When you reach in the Holy of Holies, your life turns around. You are no longer the other two that they know. Hallelujah. They only know the name. But the supernatural power that dwells in you ay, 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 creates things that are impossible in the eyes of men. Things that are impossible in the eyes of men. So I think Moses said what? But Moses told the people, Say, Moses told the church. Hey, speak with me. Moses told the church. Don't be afraid. Ay, 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 ay. I'm telling you today, don't be afraid of any situation in your life. Glory be to the most high God. Moses said, don't be afraid. Just stand. Hallelujah. I want us to be together. Just stand still. And watch 
the Lord rescue you today. Let's repeat it. Just do what? Stand. And see. Okay, let me read mine. Moses said, don't be afraid. But the people is saying to not be afraid. The Pharaoh army are coming. They are getting closer. And the ocean, the sea is there. Glory be to the most high God. I remember when I proposed to somebody. Amen. Really, I didn't have an account. Of money, I didn't, I didn't know how the account looks like. I will testify of the goodness of the Lord, you people. Even if you get tired with my testimony, I will keep on saying it until Christ comes back. Because I know what the Lord did for me. And some of you, when you, when you get out of a situation, you don't even want to talk about it. You feel you are ashamed of saying it. People, I was poor. Even the poor has called me a poor guy. But I had God in my life. And now I can sing. I walk in the power. I walk in the miracle. I live a life of favor. I know. Well, I went to Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. <laughs> Moses told the children of Israel that stand and see. Stand and watch. Glory be to the most high God. But Pharaoh is coming. Hallelujah. I've ever been in a situation where somebody say, please, God will make a way. And you say, oh, you, my brother, I wish you knew. <laughs> hey, go slow. Hallelujah. Hey, you say, please, put your Bible away first. This is a reality. <laughs> Let me tell you, God is more than a reality in the name of the living God. I said I didn't have an account. But she said yes. Hallelujah. And then she, she was smart. She organized. A, it was my first time to, to have a party. A birthday party. Ah, I walk in the power. I walk in the miracle. I live a life of favor. Kuba. I know. in you, you can sing with joy inside of you. Because God has made the way. I know, I see me. She said, we are going to eat some pork. Hallelujah. You know, in Tinder, there's a, 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 something there in Tinder, something in the Kampala. You are watching online, you know the place. Praise God. Arise and shine. So, so I was getting ready to go and eat pork. But I didn't know that she had organized all my friends. Hallelujah. Not all of them because I had a lot of friends. So those she could reach. So I reached there. I found the guys are seated. We eat pork. And she said, happy birthday to my fiancé. Yeah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. I'm like, now God is doing something in Jesus' name. <laughs> And by the way, she did not plan that to raise money then. But one of our friends, he stood and said, you know what? These people, they are going to have a wedding. They are going to introduce, but Tunde has no money. And he was frank. But let us raise the money he needs to buy the cows. <clears throat> they raised a million shilling. By then, those were four cows. So I was ready to have her in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah! I walk in the power. I walk in the miracle. I live a life of favor. Woo! I love you, Jesus. Hey! But I had no money. But inside of me, praise Jesus, there is something ring that God is going to make a way. Because the one who finds that finds favor. 
in the eyes of God. Praise be to the most high God. They say, but what is he going to feed the wife? Hallelujah. She is eating today. In the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Listen. She's what? Hallelujah. But Moses, don't be afraid. Just stand still and watch the Lord rescue you today. The Egyptians you see today, <laughs> hallelujah, you will never be, you will never be, I mean, they will, the Egyptians you see today will never be seen again. But it was hard to convince the children of Israel to tell them that those guys you are seeing up there coming. Hallelujah. Amen. That they're going to stop you anywhere. Hallelujah. So, the, the, I think <laughs> even those who would write it, I mean, what they would leave their children, they had no time to do that. They were just ready to die. Have you ever seen somebody saying, ah, for me, I'm just ready to die. May the Lord, let God take me right now. Let God take me. I'm tired of this situation. Hallelujah. God says, I have a good plan for you. God says in Isaiah 43 that I need you to go through that fire. Hallelujah. I need you to go through that deep waters, but you'll never be drawn. Praise God. I need to see you in that fire, and then you see my hand in the name of the living God. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. You always have to give the Lord a praise. The Egyptians you see today will never be seen again. The Lord himself, hallelujah, will fight for you. Just stay calm. Fifteen. Then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out? So, you know, we can hear, we hear sometimes encouraging people, hallelujah. Especially we pastors, hallelujah. But when you find us in our room, we are really crying real tears. Hallelujah. Hey, there is a statistic that fifty percent of the pastors close the churches; they give up pastoring. Amen. Because pastoring is not easy; it's not flesh and blood; it's not a, this usual business. It's God Himself at work. Therefore. You have to have that least patience in your life. And long, long suffering. Moses was crying even though he was telling people to be, to stand still. It was too much. Three million of people. The church was big. And the Pharaoh armies are coming. Remember, Moses was also a human being. Hey, that human would kick in. Why would he cry? One, he would be worried because these guys were blaming him. Maybe sometimes would say, but how about if really Pharaoh comes and does something to, to this whole mass of people? But listen, Moses, why, God told Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the people to get moving. Praise Jesus. Moving where? <laughs> Hallelujah. There is a sea in front of them. Where are they going? God tells you, please start a business. I don't have money. I was told to some people who are not married, especially men. Hey, what are you waiting for? The Bible says it's not good for you to be alone. Yeah, you know, Pastor, you know, you have to plan this really well. You have to have enough money. You wait for that money, it will be hard for you to see. God wants a decision out of you. And once you make a decision, you take a step of faith, God makes a way. Hey. Pick up your stuff. Praise Jesus. He's telling Moses to do what? To pick up and call him. Hallelujah. His stuff. 
pick up your staff against the wall. The whole army of Egypt. Does this really make sense? Does it connect in the eyes of men? How does it work? But listen, pick up your staff and raise your hand over the sea. Praise with the most high God. And he says, divide the water so that the Israel can walk through the middle of the sea on dry ground. By me, a what? Stick. By me, a what? Staff. By me, a word. That was spoken to your life. By me a prophecy. Somebody said it. I can see something over your life. God is going to make something great in your life. By me a word. Hallelujah. By me a stick. He says raise it above the waters. It cannot even reach above the waters. If you threw it over there, it, is just, it would float. Because that is sink. It just floats on. I was a cowkeeper. I knew how it worked. When you throw it on the water, it just floats. A stick. Just a word. Somebody spoke over your life. How can it work? But listen. Divide the waters so that the Israelites can walk through the, world, the, the, the middle of the sea on dry ground. And I will harden the hearts of the Egyptian. That even if the water would sit divided, these guys will come, I mean, will keep on coming. And they will charge in after the Israelites. My great glory will be displayed through Pharaoh and his troops. His chariots and his chariots and chariots. When my glory is displayed, through them, all Egypt will see my glory, and they will know, and will know that I am the Lord. Whatever happens in your life, at the end of the day, God takes the glory in the name of Jesus. Whether you go through a situation that is has nothing to be, I mean, like that is nobody can solve it. Let me tell you, at the end of the day, there is a time under the sun. There is a time for crying. There is a time for mourning. There is a time for hunger. But there is a time for satisfaction. There is a time for provisions. There is a time when the Lord makes a way for you. And the glory goes back to him. Can you give the Lord a praise? I will harden the hearts of Egyptians. And they will charge in after the Israelites. My great glory will be displayed through Pharaoh and his troops, his chariots and chariots. When my glory is displayed through them, all Egypt will see my glory and know that I am the Lord. 19, then the angel of God, hallelujah, who had been leading the people of Israel, moved to the rear of the camp. Praise be to the most high God. Amen. The, God had told Moses, open the stick over the sea. And now the Lord has sent an army to guard the rear of the whole church. Praise be to the most high God. That nothing will come from east and the north and south and central. Because the hand of God was upon everybody. That the glory of God was overshadowing the whole army of Egypt. Praise be to the most high God. Why? Where the glory of God is. Hallelujah. God speaks. And everything happens. Praise be to the most high God. The, and then, then, let me see. The pillar of cloud also moved from front. Do you hear that? And stood behind them. And the cloud settled between the Egyptians and the Israelites. And, and Israel's camp. As darkness fell, the cloud turned to fire. Give the Lord the praise. Lightening up the night. 
But the Egyptians, Israel, the Egyptians and the Israelites, they did not approach each other all night. 21. Then Moses raised his hand over the sea again. Hallelujah. And the Lord opened up a path through the water with a strong east wind. Glory be to the Most High God. And the wind blew all night, turning the seabed into dry land. The wind blew all night. Praise God. God was at work. God is always at work in your life. I wish you could just see in the heaven, praise be to God. I wish you could see in the spirit how God protective is over your life. He sent an angel behind them. He sent the pillar of fire that turned at night, praise be to the most high God. That in between them and their enemy, there was a barrier. There was a war. And for this time, it was God's war. No, nobody would do cross that wall in Jesus' name. And Moses raised the stick again. And the sea, hallelujah, opened. Give the Lord the praise. What did was the sea. The sea did what? Opened. So, 22. So, the people of Israel walked through the middle of the sea on dry ground with the walls of water on each side. Can somebody give the Lord a praise? And God says in Hebrews 13 that God is the same yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forever. Can you repeat it again? He's the same yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forever. The God who used the Moses is the same God who's going to use you in Jesus' name. The God who made the way in that sea. He's the same God who's going to take that trouble you're going through in the name of the living God. You only have to stand and see. Hallelujah. You have to do what? To stand and see. If the situation rises over your life, speak to yourself. That I am standing and I'm going to see the salvation of the Lord. When it takes two years, I will be still standing. When it takes 20 years, I will be still standing. I can still see the salvation of the Lord coming. Sometimes we want just to give up. In six months, one, one year. Hallelujah. What was spoken to me, oh my goodness, is not coming to pass. Amen. The prophecy said that the son will be born and the son is given to us and his name is Emmanuel. How many years? Amen. From that time of prophecy until the son was born. Hallelujah. How many years were those? And David said that his body will never decay. God will never allow his body to do what? To decay. Who? The Son of God, Jesus Christ. We only need to keep ourselves holy. We need to work our salvation with the fear and the trembling. If we need to see that the promise God has over his children. And the word of God says that don't copy the world's behaviors. Don't be conformed with the world. If you are conformed, if you are, you have no difference with somebody who is born again, who is not a born again, it is hard for you to see the hand of God. It's very hard, it's very difficult. You are the temple of Christ. Hallelujah. You are his temple. He dwells inside of you. Praise be to your most high God. The children we said crossed the sea. There was no ship, there was no boat, there was nothing. The wind blew for the whole night. God was working. God was at work for his church. Let me tell you, if God was able to send his son to die for you and me, what is so difficult with him? Can you hear me? 
What is so difficult with him? What is so hard with him? Nothing. If he was able to send his son to pay the price, to bleed to death, the man bled to death. The man was beaten to death. People of God, Christ loves you more than you think. God loves you more than you think. And the battle belongs to him. Don't fight the battle with your own power. Let the battle be for the Lord. You just keep yourself holy and pure. He had grace because it was a covenant. Amen. It was a promise. Even though these people complained, but still God made a way for them. So the people of Israel walked through the middle of the sea on the dry ground with the walls of water on each side. Then the Egyptians, all the of all feral horses, chariots and chariots, chased them into the middle of the sea. Let me tell you, even if God makes a way for you, hallelujah, still the devil will always try his best to come after you. Amen? Hey, because for him he has no appeal. The days are numbered for him with all his army. Hallelujah. They did not get scared that the water has been divided. They still continued following them. The devil is blinded. But just before down, the Lord looked down on the Egyptian armor from the pillar of the fire and the cloud and he threw their forces into the total confusion. Let the Lord confuse your enemy this evening in the name of the living God. Your enemies are going to be confused in the name of Jesus. Whosoever has been the enemy in your life, he's being an enemy to Christ. But the God is confusing your enemy in the name of the living God. Those who are backbiting you, those who are bringing you down, those who are tearing your life, the Lord is confusing them in the name of the living God. You just stand, you shall see the salvation of God. You shall do what? You shall do what? God did not bring you here to suffer. God did not bring you here to be, you know, hallelujah, a slave. You are not a slave. You a child of God. Praise be to the most high God. You a head, you're not a tail. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Even if you are just from this job, God will make another way in the name of the living God. And will bring the better one in Jesus' name. God is unlimited. Praise be to the most high God. And God has no age. Hallelujah. Praise God. You can be 80 years and God commissions you to take the children of Israel from Egypt. Can you hear that? I mean, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can be 80 years, coming to 100 years, and God enables you to conceive to have a child. Can I hear hallelujah? He's a God who makes a way where there is no way. May the Lord be praised. May the Lord make a way for you. May the Lord change your name. I said, May the Lord change your name. May the Lord make you a millionaire. May the Lord raise his glory over your life. May the glory of the Lord overshadow your house. May the glory of the Lord overshadow your plans. May the glory of the Lord go before you. May the Lord shine over your future. May the Lord make a way in that sea. You can see a sea in front of you. You are seeing a mountain in front of you, around you. You are seeing a fire around you. But he has allowed you to be in that fire. So that you can see that he is the greatest extinguisher. Ay, 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 ay. That in the fire, I'll be there with you. I'll walk with you. Sadrach and Ben and Echo, they were in the fire. Hey! And the king only saw four men. He was like, but we threw through people there. Who is this fourth person? That is the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high God. 
ay, 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 ay. He's my Jehovah. He's my rock. So he's your rock. He's your salvation. If the situation has turned dark, there is a light that is coming. The light is coming. The night is coming when you'll be rejoicing, glorifying his name. Because he says, My glory will be revealed in Jesus' name. Stand on your feet in the name of the living God. I walk in power. I live a life of freedom. of God. Can I say, I walk in power? Walk in miracles, I live a life of favor. I know who I am. I say I walk in my wonders. <laughs> walk in miracles, I live a life yeah, 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 of yeah, yeah, favor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I know who I, I am. I say I am walking in my dollars in the name of the living God. Walking walk in my dollars, I live a life, life of favor. favor. Cause I know. Cause I know who I am. Oh. I know I know who I am. Lord, we say, May the hand of the Lord go before you. May the Lord overshadow you with his glory. May the Lord make a way for you, my sister and my brother. May the Lord make that seed grow inside of you. You've been sowing a seed with the tears. But let the Lord enable you to reap with joy in the name of the living God. Sometimes you think maybe there's somebody who bewitched you. No, but they bewitched you. Because the one who is in you is greater. No weapon formed against you prosper. No weapon formed against you prosper. You a child of God. You a child of God. You a child of God. You are precious before the Lord. May the Lord go before you. I you just stand and see his salvation. Oh, go ahead, go ahead and talk to the Father. Briefly with your word. Just yes, speak to the Father. Speak to the Father. I know. Speak to the Father with your words. Speak to the Father. Speak to the Father. Speak to the Father. Sit your Father. Say, Lord, the battle is not mine. Say it louder. The battle is not mine. The battle is not mine. The victory is mine. The blessings are mine. The blessings are mine. The blessings are mine. Health is mine. Whatever I want, I, I get it. Because the Bible says when we ask, we shall receive. Father, we are receiving our blessings this afternoon. Receive your blessings. Speak it out. Receive your blessings. Receive your blessings. Receive your blessings. Ramashiti Rimama. God is rewriting your name, my sister. God is rewriting your name. God is rewriting your name. God is rewriting your name. Fire. 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 Fire, fire, may the Lord surprise you, may the Lord surprise you, may the Lord surprise you, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let the Lord lead you my sister, don't use your own knowledge, your own wisdom, in all ways acknowledge him, acknowledge him, acknowledge him, in the name of Jesus. Oh, 
Give the Lord the praise. Give the Lord the praise. Give the Lord the praise. Please show the love to Christ. Show Jesus some love. Show Jesus some love. Let me tell you, whenever you appreciate God. <laughs> Amen, amen. As somebody said that the devil gets a heart attack in the name of the living God. Appreciate God for all the good things he has for you. Appreciate God for the healing has brought over your life. Appreciate God for the provisions that have come on your way. Appreciate God in the name of Jesus. May the grace of our Lord Jesus and the love of God and the fellowship be with us amen hallelujah amen pastor jackie you let us know where the food is hallelujah the food is ready amen let me watch us more oh yes yes definitely so we have some um, our send off for our sister Melissa in the